there. On this episode of The Journey Amplified, we're going to be speaking to an amazing man who has been telling stories about black people within the community. And also he's been working on several programs and platforms where he preserves the culture of the black history and the black people within the community here in New Brunswick. Join me as I welcome Olumide Ojo. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you on the show today. Thank you. So I got to meet Olumide Ojo from his online radio station, Prop Pro FM. Yeah. And uh, he was bringing through evergreen songs, songs that we grew up with from our childhood. And it was nice that we could still hear some of those songs here by streaming them online. Yep. Um, following that, he went on to starting with the magazines where he gathers together stories of black people all across New Brunswick. Um, he also started with something quite unique and interesting where he brings together comedians from all across the globe, especially with African descent. And um, he started to organize these shows where people could come and enjoy comedy um, from the black person's perspective. Uh, he also had the what is referred to as Loud in Mountain. Loud in Mountain. And that has actually seen three different yep. uh, series, which started in 2020, yep. actually. So I'm not going to speak further from here. I'm going to let Olumide introduce himself. I want to hear where you are from, when you started this, what started. I know it's a lot of questions, but we just want to hear you talk. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Olumide, Olumide Ojo. I started my journey when uh, my wife had, um, had uh, uh, what's it called, uh, admission in uh, Crandell University here in New Brunswick. And um, from there, I, when we came in 2029, 2019, I, I asked myself, what can I do differently that people were like, okay, definitely appreciate and see. And I went into research and, and um, I noticed that we don't have a black, a black radio in the whole of Maritime. So I look at it, it's a great opportunity for me to start an online radio station where we call Coco FM, where we play all African, all African evergreen music. Not the evergreen has to be an evergreen, you know, music that we grew up with. Music that, we, that you know that this is a music that tells stories. And so from there, I move on, you know, so another research, and um, I find that there's no black magazine in the whole of Atlantic again. That kicks me up by starting uh, the Moore magazine. And um, now we're in the fifth edition, and um, and the journey, uh, the journey is uh, is so amazing for me. And then I, I, I thank so I, you know a lot of people, especially you. You know, you gave me that um, encouragement that, oh, you can do it. Because I remember giving you a tax um, when um, I, was, I was about to start the Moore magazine. And um, you, you did a lot of research for me by, you know, a lot of research, which actually helped me up to you now. I still keep it, um, you know, I owe you that. And um, it's amazing, my first edition, you know, because we're not used to things like that. And um, I asked, I practically asked people to give me their story. Ask people, you know, right, because it's, it's, people look at it, why are you doing it? Why, because there's no such magazine here. So it's, it's quite different. So from them and, um, I hold the, 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 the magazine to God for giving me that inspiration and uh, to my family and to a friend. And practically, that is my journey for now. And uh, the magazine, this is the, like I said, the fifth edition, we're still moving. 
and getting a lot of story. Now, the blacks are coming out. Like, oh, okay. We need to share the stories. And I remember my first edition, um, a man uh, called uh, Deji he actually encouraged me because the first one, if you look at it, if you are not, if it is not something that you want to do or something that you have zeal or passion for, after the first one, I would have just stopped it and quit because no encouragement then. So about, you know, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and we're moving. Thank you. That is really inspiring um, that you speak about that because I know that these magazines are being given out free. Free. Yep. They are not being sold. No. So are you doing this as um, giving back to the community? Why are you not selling these magazines? For me, we have a lot of magazines out there. And why this is different? And why we want this to be out before asking people not even to sell, but to support. Mm. To support us, to support why we're doing this, why we're doing the magazine, is for me, is to promote the, the, the blacks. Right. We're not discriminating, like I said. The, our third edition, we have our MP in there, we actually interviewed her, and she gave us a lot of things, and she, I introduced the magazine to her, and she loves it. She has been asking for, any time we make, any time we have, any time we have a new edition, she asks for it. And we've been sending it out free on our own. We've been doing all those things. We don't want to sell. We want to just push our blacks out there. Once we have a story about other colors, Definitely we will pick it, but you need to tell us about what blacks are doing for you. Right. You understand? So that's more reason we don't want to sell. We need support from people. It's just to give back to the society and like, you know what, this is our story. Yeah. It's, it's, see, people, mindset of people at this end believe the mindset of a black person is I don't want to use a word evil, but like, oh. Nothing good nothing comes co from there. Exactly, yeah. thank you. Yeah. You know, so but that is, more, that, is the, that is my mission on this, that you know what? We have a lot of good yeah. black, we have a lot of good black people yeah. here in Canada and all over the world. And profitable too, because one of the things that I see that you do is that um, there is a lot of um, promotion of black businesses yep. here. You're also talking about the different black businesses that yep. are available. I'd like to speak about the fact that I find a lot of people within the community who come around and sometimes ask questions. They, they are not certain where to get questions mm -hmm. about the black community. Mm -hmm. And I find that these magazines for every edition comes with various information yep. how to connect within yep. the community how to settle down how yep. to raise kids how within raise the kids. community how to buy your first houses mm -hmm. it's it has a lot of information with this and mm -hmm. so it is an amazing work that you are doing Thank you. that these are actually going for free because yep. the quality of the magazines are fantastic it's very colorful. It talks about the stories in a beautiful way. It's something that you would definitely want to read all through without putting down. Yep. The question I have now is, how can people get access to this magazine? Because I'm sure there are people out there saying, oh, I'm, I'm not aware of um, this magazine. I don't know how to get this since it's not for sale. How can I get it? How can I pre-order? How can I order? First, all African, all African stores, okay. all African stores in the whole of New Brunswick. Even now, we are <clears throat> we are getting um, uh, a store in uh, in Alifa. Okay. Oh, are willing to like you know what? 
uh, you need to bring it down and we share it and um, you know apart from that some business some business uh, offices here in New Brunswick um, you know we have them there we take take it there for people to you know or even all the way to 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 the garage to the mechanic garage oh, wow oh, yes wow. what about the multicultural councils like the association like for example in Moncton there is magma Do, are they available because that's a place where you find a lot of different cultures Will, you, will they find yeah, it there they, as well? Yeah, we're taking it there. We're Fantastic. taking it there. We're taking so it there now. We're there. taking okay. it there. And we're also talking to uh, the Chambers of Commerce Fantastic. now. Fantastic, okay. Like, oh, okay. Like, taking our magazine there. And again, we have some um, hotels here okay. in New Brunswick that you have, you see the mag. Right. Every of our editions yeah. are there yeah. Yeah. For, for you to view, for you to pick. All our contact, okay. you know, our contact is there in the, anywhere that you find the magazine, just reach out to us and definitely we'll send it to you free of charge without saying, oh, that is get amazing. money. That is amazing. And thank you for this work thank that you. you are doing. Now, away from the magazine, I know that there is so much. You are a man that wears so many hats. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Loudoun Mountain. The very first uh, session of Loudoun Mountain started in 2020. And I yes. know that that was... Um, it was held at the Centennial Park. Centennial People Park. just came together. Yep. There was music. There yep. was drinks. People yep. could connect. Yep. Even in spite of the COVID, COVID. era, mm -hmm. it was an opportunity for people to come out and yeah. to socialize with people after mm -hmm. being locked down for a very long time. Yeah. What inspired Loud in Mountain? Ah, okay. I am back in Nigeria. I, I do have... Um, same name, but it's called Loud in Nigeria. Oh. It's Loud in Nigeria, comedy and music. So coming here, I realized something like again, my research again. And I realized that in the whole of community, we don't have that geek. We don't have that things that brought, you know, everyone together and I formed that name again, Loudy Mountain. You're like, the Loudy Mountain? Yo, I said, yes, Loudy Mountain. So we started that show and, uh, during the COVID. And I remember uh, the first edition where so, we were supposed to have a gate fee in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a, what's it called, in an event, in an event center. Well, because of the COVID, we, we have this restriction that you can't yeah. be more than 50 yeah. In, yeah. in this thing. So we have to take it, everything Outside. out yeah. there. And again, back to it again, funded by me. Right. Funded by me. So both all the drinks, all the spices, uh, uh, gifts, yeah. gifts, yeah. were given free. Yeah. So I think I lost some, I lost some, uh, ex, I lost some amount of money there. Right. So that was the first edition. And um, this, this, moving again to, 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 to the second edition, but the first edition actually inspired me that, yes, people love this, yeah, what we're doing. The social life. Out, we, yeah. See, we're used to, I'm not used to someone like me. I'm not used to sitting at home. I'm not used to like being in a place whereby there's no activities. Right. I'm not an indoor person. Mm. So with that, sometimes I don't sleep until maybe around two, which I'm like, okay, I want to do my research and do a lot of research. I like, what can we do next? To bring people, to bring together, people together, to bring the community, community together. together, yeah. And it's, it's really nice because it's not limited to the black community exactly. alone. So it brings... That's why we have the name Loud in Moncton. Right. So it brings all the culture mm -hmm. together and mm -hmm. all. So was that the same um, inspiration that also started Laugh Court? Because yes. then there is Laugh Court. And yes. Laugh Court is strictly meant for comedy. 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 Yeah. Okay. Like, um, <clears throat> there's a say. I said... Once 
if for me, not even say now for me, if I'm if I'm not if if I'm down, the next thing I want to do is to watch comedy. So everything about me is, you know what? We have a lot of people here who are thinking of so many things. Down, everything is about work, 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 but you need to have a time for yourself. To relax. And so yeah. the only thing that we could do is to crack the bone. <laughs> you understand? To crack the bone and let's do, let's, let's, let's laugh it out. Yes, you, even if you have issues and you're able to have a comedian around you, people that will make you laugh, mm -hmm. do, during that time, yeah. You will sometimes you will forget what yeah. you will forget everything. What you're thinking, what you're thinking yeah. about, you want to move on, and you know, with that it keeps you move. You can relax yeah. and do so many things. Yeah, it it's also lifts your spirit. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know that 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 actually led to the laugh court. Laugh court. The yeah. laugh court. Yes, the laugh court was great. We that. have a lot. We have, you know, good comedians from Africa. Right. And um, you know the show was wonderful. Yeah. I even for me, and again I thank you know so many people, all the colors, everybody in New Brunswick, yep. coming out to like support me for right. that. And I was so I was so I was so happy. Right. You know, you know doing that. Olumide, you never stop to amaze me with how much I can tell already from chatting here with you that you are a philanthropist <laughs> because. First of all, you started with the magazines, you created these magazines, you give them out free of charge, yep. giving to the community and trying yep. to preserve the culture of black people. And then now you are trying to make people within the community happy yep. by creating events that will help people laugh, that will help people socialize. Coming to the laugh court, um, I was with OK Bakasi, thanks to your network. You were able to bring OK Bakasi who is one of the legends from Africa in comedy. Yep. Recently, you brought in the dawn. Um, Davison. Uh, yeah, and uh, and Davison Sakor. And, and Sakor, who are also legends in their field, yep. in, the, in, in the comedy industry. And um, these are not cheap resources to bring in, yep. especially to fly into the province. Yep. Um, how do you intend to sustain well i know that you know people are paying for this i'm wondering uh are the costs of the shows beginning to cover that are you also looking to bring in other comedians from even within um new brunswick and um within other other cultures here within because it's fantastic that we can connect to those legends that we have known from africa and I, I just keep on thinking about, is this something that is sustainable? Do you think that there is a market for risk? Is there um, opportunity to also spread within the other cultures within New Brunswick? Yes. Um, first thing is, once I see people happy, I'm happy. That's one thing about me. Once you're happy and I'm happy. And... Um, We're, now we're, we're thinking, we're thinking, because a lot of feedback, we're thinking of bringing other comedians from other African country, the one in, the one in, even the one in Canada, not even New Brunswick now. Mm -hmm. We're thinking of bringing them in. Right. You know, getting them here to, to you know, to, to support us in what we're doing and uh, because the, your local contents are very very important mm -hmm. you know so we're planning we're planning a show we're planning a a show whereby we want to raise comedians here oh. now we're planning a show we're planning a show that we should raise we know we want to raise a comedian here like um and also so many things that we're planning now mm -hmm. that we're planning now to do and uh, maybe the first quarter of next year, you know, getting kids, getting get, getting people who we, you know could do it. People, I, 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 like I said, we have a lot of 
great, I great people here. Yeah. So we need to explore them. So one thing about me is I love I love new ideas. I love challenges. Mm. And I love seeing people happy. Right. Basically that is me. Once you're happy, I'm good. So we're doing that, we're working on that. Yeah. And again, we we'll really appreciate if we you know who we'll have a lot of uh, 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 collaboration with us for us to do it together because I can't do it alone. Right. I need people. Uh, I need. I need people. I need people. Or I need support from people like you and other people from government to support this race so that we so that we will take some. We will take people out of. Don't let me use the word drugs. Depression, you know, maybe. Depression, good, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, depression. Yeah. You know, take people away from depression. Yeah. Who believe that they, is the they end don't have of any hope. hope? Exactly. Yeah. And you are giving them. We're giving them. We're, so we're, we're planning a lot. Of, we're planning a lot for for next year for the first question, for the first quarter. The comedy, music. If you have a talent in music, youth that we're bringing out. Right. Now you have the voice. Right. You can do it. You know, getting getting you to to learn production, right? And um, we will teach them and to and do how to you know and do cameras to do a lot of things and we will play them. Right. When we have our own production, we will play them right. to come and work for us. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're taking a lot of depression. We're taking a lot of things out of the society. Right. Um, Olumide, what can I say? You are a huge inspiration, Thank you. honestly, to a lot of people out there, to even the younger generation. You have come in from Africa, from Nigeria to be specific. Um, you have come with your own ideas. You have not just kept them to ideas, but you have run with those ideas. You have yep. developed not just one platform, not just two platform, not just three platforms, but you are there, you are speaking about the culture, you are preserving the culture, you are promoting people, you are promoting uh, businesses within the community, you are supporting people, you are inspiring people through the shows that you are organizing, making people happy, making people smile. People have something to look forward to because mm -hmm. I recall uh, before Loudoun Mountain, I know I saw a couple of posters, I saw a couple of um, videos where, you know, people, there was that excitement yeah. um, where people wanted to be a part of that. They were looking for that opportunity to connect with other people, to mm -hmm. come laugh, to listen to music, to dance. And that is huge. You are making huge impact in the community. I want to say thank you. Thank you. But before I go, one last question, because this is just all mind blowing for me <laughs> that one person behind so many platforms, do all of these uh, platforms fall under a non-for-profit organization or how, how are you um, yeah, I, organizing? I, I, yeah, I have a company here. I have a company here in uh, New Brunswick and um, no, not for now. The more is under the more is under non-profit, okay. and then you know we just put that into to consideration that we should put that into uh, the more into non-profit, yeah. and um, and uh, basically that is a, what for me. If you ask me, what we are asking for is just um, the support. You know, it's support from individuals, from government. You know, the, it's, 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 it's not about the, 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 all these things, it's not about me alone. Mm. And like I said to you, like I said to you, thanks to you, because you, you were there when I was looking for people to help. Right. And uh, we have great, people here right. who are who have thousands of ideas but where and where to go 
who could motivate them. They are looking for people to motivate them. They are looking for people to just encourage them and like, you know what? Tap and let, you know you can do this. And for me, government needs to tap into that. We have a lot of colors, a lot of blacks, a lot of people here. Amazing people, amazing business guys, amazing business people here who are doing well, but they are just there. We need to, we need to get a platform whereby people could be, you know, could be heard. You understand? And, and with that, for me, the community will be far, far better place for all of us to live. You know, once we have the support, and again, I, I, I also discuss with people who I said to them, you know what, if you want government to support you, please go and register your business oh, and pay your tax. Pay your tax, once right. you pay your tax, right. yes, you will, get a lot, you will get the support from government. I encourage people a lot to do that, you know, so. That is, that is me, that is what I do, that is what I will continue doing, you know, even if I don't have support, I'll continue doing it. Like I said to you, I, I've, most of this thing being funded by me and maybe support from friends and, you know, like people like you always there to like, you know what, let me support this person, this is a great thing that this person is doing and, 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 and here we are, I, I, believe, uh, I believe we will get there. Thank you. Thank I, you so I much. believe so too. Thank you once again. And on a final note, this is Olumide Ojo, the man with many hats. Um, I would like to say that majority of what he does is to support the community, to provide information out there, to support and promote other businesses, local businesses by newcomers, immigrants, especially within the black community. If there is any way you would like to partner with him, if there is any way you would like to share some of the content and some of the work that he's doing, or you'd like to promote that, you can always reach out. I also reach out to you. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Well, so thank you once thank again you for much. joining. <laughs> it was a pleasure chatting Same with you. Same here. Thank you.